Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. We're looking at radar charts and area charts, which are two different sort of charts for the General 2 course. First of all, radar charts on the left-hand side here kind of looks like a spiderweb. Um, they're pretty easy to read. Well, most of the time they're pretty easy to read. We don't uh, often get questions where you're asked to draw these out. Um, I think in the textbook it will show you how to draw them out, but I'm not going to bother because it just doesn't happen. Now, often radar charts are used to uh, compare different types of data, often things like temperature, water level, rainfall, those types of things. You can see in this example on the left-hand side um, that we've got uh, a time period going around, going clockwise. Often that happens, it might be like in this case it's months, often it's uh, it's also like time like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, etc. You can see here very clearly the uh, two um, different types of data that are being compared are different colors, so they're clearly identified. Um, but in an exam, obviously, it's not going to be colored, so it's going to be black and white. So how do they then um, differentiate between the two? You'll notice for the Sydney, you've got that little diamond shape, and then the Hobart, it's a little rectangular shape. So we can still clearly tell which line is which just by those little squares, or, the, or I guess the dots that join the lines together. Now, um, how do we read these? Well, generally speaking, if I'm looking for the temperature, um, I guess, in Hobart um, in February. Well, Hobart is the red line. February is going on down this line here in this first sort of quadrant. And in yellow, you can see that's where my dot's going to be. Now, currently, there's no value on that sort of line there. So what we need to do, we need to sort of trace this back to get to the vertical amounts where there is an axis there and there are uh, there's a scale and we can see that for February in Hobart it was 20 degrees Celsius um, perhaps if I wanted to look at what is the temperature in Sydney in October then again I'm going to go on the blue line for Sydney I'm going to go around to October which is here once again there's no value there so I'm going to just trace that black line around so I'll get back to there and we can see it's 25 degrees. They might ask questions such as which, is, which uh, month has the biggest difference between temperatures in Hobart and Sydney. So again, what we're looking for is the biggest gap, the biggest distance apart from this line. Um, looking at this, you know, we could be looking at probably here we've got one full line and a, and a half, uh, one full line and maybe about three quarters. So I'm looking at October at the moment probably would go with possibly October, maybe November. That one's slightly more challenging um, because the values are closer together. But that's what we're sort of looking for. It might say, what is the difference in temperatures in, in January in Hobart and Sydney? We can look at that and say it's, it's five degrees because January in uh, Sydney is 30 degrees, in Hobart was 25, so the difference is 5 degrees. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, just make sure you look at see which line that you are needing to use. And it's often good, to, if you've got an exam paper, to trace it like I've done on the uh, screen here um, to make sure that you don't sort of mix up and, and go up a line or up a web, you might call it. Now that's pretty much radar charts. Area charts, um, again, it's slightly different to what you've had before. They're about the actual area, I guess, of the graph. Now, the biggest issue, I guess, is probably not um, in this question, not with town B. For example, I could say, you know, what was the, uh, the monthly um, amount in town B in January? You'd go January 15, me say my answer is going to be 15. If I said for town A, most people, unfortunately, would say, oh, it's 25 because that's where the town A in pink is 25. What an area chart looks at, it looks at the distance or the area of the color. For example, in January for town A, you can see where my green line is, that's the distance there. So it's not in fact um, 25, it's actually only 10. So if I was comparing them, you can see that there's a difference of five, um, of five dollars or whatever it was supposed to be for that monthly amount. Um, again, if I was looking at, let's say, February for town A, I'd say well, it goes up to 35. I'm looking for that distance there. That's 5. So I'd say that would be 30. Um, for town B, it would be 5. And all together, it makes 35. So that's how sort of area charts work. So we're going to do some questions just to see how you uh, manage that. Again, if you want to pause this, folks, and then have a crack, 
Um, it's probably not a bad idea. Um, so the first one looking at is the average monthly temperatures for Town A and Town B. Town A is the uh, blue diamond and Town B is the uh, red square rectangle. Town A and Town B are shown on the radar chart. What is the temperature of Town A in March? Okay, so blue diamond in March. Okay, so blue diamond March, we've got that amount there. So I'm going to actually I'll use a different color. It's probably not a good color to use white. Okay, so I'm going to trace it back, trace it back. I get 30 degrees, which is going to be B. See how some people, when they're tracing, you need to make sure that you're going are on this little black line here. Um, it is very easy to sort of go up onto another line, so just be really careful. Using the radar chart in question four, which is this question here, when is the temperature of town B greater than for town A? Okay, so when is town B bigger than um, town A? And so I'm looking at the moment, you can see it's um, town B is less, 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 equal, greater than, so it's going to be May. And then just double check it, equal, less, 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 less. It works out. So again, you can see it's pretty straightforward. Um, next question, a bit more written question. The average monthly temperatures for Tari and Parks are shown on the radar below. What is the average monthly temperature for Parks in November? Okay, so Parks is red rectangle, and I'm looking for November. So we can see here that's a red rectangle in November. I'm going to follow the black line across, 30 degrees. What is the difference in the month? Average monthly temperatures for April between Tari and Parks. I'm going to go around to April. Okay, so you can either find the value of um, April in Parks. If I look across around there, it's 35. And I'm going to find the value in April for uh, Tari. So again, I'm going to trace it back and it's 30. Therefore, it's 5 degrees. That's one way of doing it. The other way you can sort of look at it, in April, it's simply one line apart. Therefore, one line apart, you can see it's going up by fives, so it's five degrees. For which month are the average temp um, monthly temperatures of Tari and Parks exactly the same? Okay, so for which month? Well, I'm looking here. They're exactly the same amount, so I've got August. I'm just going to double check that it's uh, not another month as well. Let's have a quick look. Oh, no, you can just see that it's a bit different um, here than in May. But uh, yeah, I mean, you could kind of possibly say May as well. Um, that's a bit debatable on that particular question. Um, but you know, I'd probably go in with August. So there you go. That's pretty much your radar charts. Not challenging, hey? Okay, let's do a question on area charts now. Um, the area chart shows the sale figures at a store for products A, B, and C. Estimate the number of products A sold in January. Okay, so January is here. A. Um, uh, it's probably 125. Uh, I'd probably go with 120. Again, there's probably a bit of leeway there. Um, for which month does the chart indicate that the same number of each product was sold? Okay, so what you're looking for, remember, because you can see these none of these lines touch, that you're looking for the same distance apart from here to here to here pretty much because we want it to be the same value. So if I look at these across, no, it's bigger, bigger, um, bigger, bigger. Oh, here we go. That distance there, that distance there, that distance there, it's pretty much all the same. So we're gonna go here with June. And for which month were sales of all three products the greatest? Okay, so again, we're looking for the biggest distance. That's pretty big there, that's pretty big there, it's pretty big there. So I'm gonna go there with May. Okay, um, look folks, I hope that all kind of made sense to you. Um, as I said, the radar charts are pretty easy to read off. You won't have to draw them out. Um, I mean, worst case of worst, I guess we probably could, um, but uh, it's not a very common question. I've yet to see it. Um, but certainly the area ones are very common. Just make sure you don't fall into the trap. Um, for example, of saying, in January C was 250, because it's not 250, you know, it's maybe about 75, it's just a little bit over. Okay, just be careful, it's the distance of the area, not just the number, okay? Have an awesome day, guys. Any problems, let me know, um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in class.